good evening friends welcome back welcome back to my channel so today we are going to discuss about a very important triangle called as lumbar triangle of petits earlier we have discussed about the lumbosacral triangle of marsili and now we are going to discuss about the lumbar triangle of petits so what is this lumbar triangle of petits let us discuss about it before that please subscribe to my channel right so let us discuss about this triangle so this triangle which is present at the back it is present at the back above the iliac crest here you can identify the triangular shape yes before going to see the boundaries of this lumbar triangle of petits we need to know how why it is called as petits lumbar triangle of petits so because the anatomical location of petits triangle is named after jean louis petit he is a french surgeon born in paris on march 13 1674 he invented this lumbar triangle of petit so on his name it is called as lumbar triangle of petit and he is a surgeon who has done the first cholecystectomy surgery and let us discuss about the boundaries the three boundaries lateral boundary medial boundary and the apex and the base and here at the back of the body trunk we can identify this lumbar triangle lower part of the back we can identify i am going to enlarge this particular area and try to show you clearly the boundaries of lumbar triangle of petit so here i have enlarged it and i'm going to try to show you the boundaries of it so the first one is the medial boundary medial boundary is formed by lateral border lateral border of lattice muscle dorsi strictly speaking at the origin of the lattice muscle dorsi from the iliac crest you can identify the lateral boundary then medial boundary this red color red color line is formed by the posterior border of external oblique abdominis muscle fibers external oblique abdominis muscle fibers posterior border then the base is formed by the iliac crest base is formed by the iliac crest and apex is formed by the joining of medial and lateral boundaries so these are the boundaries of the lumbar triangle of petits and at the floor at the floor of this lumbar triangle of petits we can identify internal oblique abdominis muscle fibers which are present and they are the weak fibers which are present which are contributing the floor of lumbar triangle of petits the clinical correlation of this lumbar triangle of petits it is an area that is not as thick as the rest of the abdominal wall and as such it is a site of potential weakness that can lead to a lumbar hernia and also known as the petits hernia so many a times you can identify in the clinics you can identify the protrusion protrusion of the kidneys through this area through this area so that's why it is a weakness there is a weakened area weak area of abdomen posterior part of this abdomen posterior abdominal wall it is a weak area so remember this petits hernia it is nothing but a lumbar triangle weakness lumbar triangle weakness okay that is about the lumbar triangle of petits thank you so much dear students see you soon with a new class till then see you